TrackWrestling.com here with Ellis Coleman, U.S. World Team Greco member, making Olympic team in 2012. This is your second World Team. You and I were talking, Ellis. You made that Olympic team at 20 years old in 2012. You probably thought this was going to be, you know, pretty easy. You know, every year you make a World Team and, and you do great things. How has your perspective changed since 2012 um, in this sport? You battled some injuries. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I I completely uh, sw swap positions with the older guys that I was grinding with coming up. You know. Uh, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of spunk and just, you know, grit. And, you know, when you come in come in young and fresh, you know, you don't care about anything. There's not really much, too much of uh, the mental game hitting you too hard because you don't you don't have any position, you know. It's uh, it's when you feel you're at the top that you feel everybody's chasing you and everybody's on your back. And so, um, you know, just switching roles and being an older guy now, going against those younger guys, uh, it's tough, you know, but I don't think it's any tougher than it was before. If I keep the same mentality and, uh, and know that, you know, I don't have anything until, until I'm done wrestling, actually, then I'll be fine. Have you come to really appreciate these opportunities? Do you have a different approach? Most definitely. Um, you know, before it was all about winning, 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 winning. You know, now, I mean, I obviously want to win, but the bigger picture is uh, the journey. The bigger picture is getting better. Every single time I step out on the mat, I know that I give, I give my all, give 100%, and then when I'm done, I know what I need to work on and that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try my best to get better at what I did wrong and get better at what I'm weak at. So, yeah. You had a couple of years there, what, 14 and 15, I believe, with the injuries? Yep. And then you came back in 2016. What did you learn about yourself during, you know, some, some times of adversity? Um, nothing. I mean, I just, I was with my family a lot, and uh, you always have to reset when you get hurt, you know, so um, seeing everybody grind it out, seeing everybody wrestle, uh, it kind of hurts, you know, and so I got injured a lot, actually. I've been, I probably, I've, I've been on, I started the senior level at 18 years old. I'm 20, oh, I just turned 26 last week. 26 now. Happy birthday. I've probably spent three years off the mat, four years off the mat, actually, from injury, to be honest. So I've, I'm, cause I've probably only been on the mat, actually, training and competing hard, realistically, for, for about four or five years. Um, and, you know, when you get injured, you just reset and you find a way. You know, after you, if I've been injured so many times, I found a way to, to, to get myself better and pull myself up every single time and just... Um, just know what I need to do and be and like be resilient, pretty much. How do you feel physically? How do you feel? Where are you at compared I to feel where great you physically, know? Because uh, I mean, like I said before, I was always injured. I was always battling injuries, but I mean, I've been healthy this whole year. And uh, if I feel great mentally, I feel great physically. You know, so that's a big thing for me. What have you learned over the years in this sport uh, from a technique, tactical standpoint? Coach Lindland and I were talking about it earlier today. Uh, you know, a lot of the same ways of scoring, those those little basics. I mean, he's more into scoring points. We're not necessarily seeing as much of that. What, you know, what what do you rely on? Uh, I, I think scoring points is good. You know, um, everybody wants to see everybody score points. You know, um, like, you know, but you're not going to have all these matches like uh, Kamal Bay had at Junior Worlds. You know, it's different on the senior level. Every On the senior level, the guy who wins is the guy who makes the least mistakes. And so you see every single person trying to hold back. And you don't see all these throws and you don't see all this scoring because nobody wants to make a mistake. And so it's going to come down to the beauty of the sport, you know, a battle. Two guys fighting it out, two guys gritting it out. And those points are going to come. If you're battling hard and you're fighting and you're, you're trying to get the best out this guy he's trying to get the best or well, he's trying to hold his own those points are going to come from there it's not just about just throwing throws all the time and trying to trying to show be flashy and score points that way it's about a battle it's two people face to face two soldiers two men fighting for their country and trying to come out victorious what is he most jacked up about getting to compete in that usa singlet again uh, for a world title uh redemption for me um just getting back on the mat and uh having another chance having another opportunity that's the big thing for me Great catching up, Ellis. Good luck to you. Thank, Thank you much. You. Appreciate it. Take care.